I chose to go to Steve Pecan because there's plenty of opportunities to both have a lot of fun and network. You can come here to just learn and study and there's a great community behind it. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm Damien, co-founder of TP Build. Um, I'm happy to, to be there. Uh, I will present you how we mix uh, our cocktail at TP. Uh, I might, you might be familiar with the London Mule. Uh, I've been working on a code base that is a mixed C++ and Rust uh, in uh, our TP code base. Um, I prefer the C++ part, but we have Rust, and I will show you how we do that. But before I do this, um, I wanted to ask why we are doing what we do at TP. Why do fast build matters? Essentially, what we do is trying to solve that problem that when you develop something today, you get to ship it to your continuous integration service, wait for it, think you are done because it built on your machine, but you are building for multiple platform, and you get to do something else, and suddenly the CI comes back and say, oh, by the way, you were not finished. And so you are then on an infinite loop trying to fix things, to fix on the different platform that you have to target, and you do that always like in async way, and we try to fix that by shifting the CI left, on making the build so fast that you can actually run every single environment that you need on every finger, fingertips, essentially. That's what we do, and uh, uh, we do it with uh, Enflow, the best uh, solution in, in the, out there to uh, do remoting, and uh, trying to bring the goodness of Bazel remote execution to CMake. And uh, we do that with a multi-layer build caching on cloud-based uh, build and test parallelization. And why we do it, ultimately, is uh, to be able to enjoy a cocktail at the end of the day instead of waiting of the build to finish. So you have got in your um, bag a small uh, QR code. If the next time you have a CMaker or like a fine package that doesn't want to work or something that doesn't work, you can actually register to get one hour of uh, free consulting from us to get you unstuck, essentially. Um, so let's go back to what we want to speak about today. The cocktail receipt, the Rusty C++ Mule. So it's a cocktail mixing like C++ and Rust, like um, C++ is a language often used in polyglot um, environment. And uh, to, get, to do that, we will need some ice for the cocktail. And the question is, where do we find ice? Um, do you know? Who knows who do we find ice in C++? Yeah, well, yeah, you get it right. Like, internal compiler error. We have, we have so many uh, possibilities to have ice for a cocktail. So here this is a GCC one, um, currently uh, on GCC 14. To get a good uh, ice, um, a good set of ice, you just need to do a recursive lambda on the call if const expert in there. And uh, as you can see, if um, internet permits, uh, you, can, you can see that uh, this, don't, this gives you an internal compiler error. And um, this is still, uh, this, is, this is something uh, that always uh, bothered me as an European when I come in the States. Everyone is taking ice to go to their uh, hotel room. And I never knew what the American people are doing with their ice. Me as a small Swiss person, I, I, like, I thought, what are they doing with that ice? But I learned later that it was just for the drinks. So, OK, we have ice. Great. Now we need a bit of, uh, of booze, so two ounces of boost spirit. Um, so it's simple. You just press the button. You don't need a package manager. CMake has, has got you covered. Fetch content, and uh, you're going to get a uh, boost. Then, boost spirit, uh, I think it's uh, important to note it. Uh, there is boost spirit x3, nobody speaks about it, and it's evolving secretly. Uh, it's in the documentation and so on, and it's very good. It's uh, compiled super fast, and it allows you to do uh, parser expression grammar. And uh, you can basically, with this parser, you can parse an employee. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, uh, it's employee, then uh, the, the brackets, um, and uh, then uh, the, the, the employee number, or his age, uh, the t name, last name, and the double is the salary. And uh, I'm just, so we have Boost Spirit. And, oh yeah, I, I missed that one, yeah. And uh, so to, you can parse that automatically into a strict with Boost Fusion and Abstract, which uh, I'm a maintainer of, but I'm a bit lazy. I didn't uh, review any pull requests because I had a company to run and it was pretty hard. I promise I will do better. Um, by the way, please read the comments. 
we are hiring compiler engineers, so don't hesitate to uh, contact us. Um, so we have two ounces of good spirit now. So cocktail it starts to look better. No, I just put one half of uh, crab juice, like uh, or freshly squeezed rust, because yeah, I, I like over languages, but C++ is still uh, my preference. Um, so it's pretty easy. You just need to run Cargo, a new uh, new project. We name it Mixology, and we ask to make a library. Then uh, we add we add like dependencies, CXX and Regex. And uh, you need to add static lib to be able to do the binding. Then you can use corrosion RS. We have a fork of it that uh, runs the test, uh, all the tests of Rust uh, in, uh, in CMake and in CTest, and you can use it. So we have, we have the half ounce of crab juice, and then you need bindings. For this, we use CXX RS that has a lot of great uh, bindings. And uh, you can just then specify uh, the bindings like this. And, uh, what I took is like the regex match because AppSetter in his keynote said Rust uh, regex was faster than uh, any other uh, out there. So I wanted to have it. And actually, I, you can then use it from C++. And so we have a cocktail. And to know we have the ingredients to do the cocktail, we just need to fill an inverted, an emetic environment and run it with uh, CMakeRE, which is our tool that essentially runs uh, a Rust build through CMake with the, the system that I showed you, then uh, runs it in a hermetic environment, started here in, the, in your local machine. You can have it remote, but uh, you can also run it locally, so when you're on a plane. And so you get hermetic build for CMake, and all the tests run, and uh, you can uh, benefit of... Uh, <laughs> I'm fit over, over time, so that's... So you can, you can just uh, like test it, like cocktails are nice, and this is calling a Rust regex uh, based on the on the bindings I did, and we can see that uh, CMake is running that uh, as expected, and uh, like giving us the information that the test failed. So that was it. If you want to run that, run hermetic builds, remote builds on caching, you just can call CMake area as you are used to call CMake, and uh, you can be the first to try it. Now just join the private beta, look on the website, sign in. Uh, we got you covered. Thank you so much for your attention and apologies for the <laughs> delay.